97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, welcome to City News Daily on City TV with me, Pearl Akanya Ofori. I will be bringing you the day's top stories. We start with politics, where the opposition New Patriotic Party says it has initiated steps to unite its front in the Clotikoli constituency after a parliamentary rerun in that area saw the election of Philip Addison as a parliamentary nominee of the party for the November polls. There have been calls from several quarters in the party for the defeated aspirant that Nima Inote, who won the previous primary in August last year, to contest as an independent candidate in the forthcoming election. The acting general secretary of the party, John Brady, says he believes Nima Inote will stay in the party to help the party win the Clote Kole seat. Let's go to the northern region where a rainstorm has displaced over 900 people in the region. According to records from the National Disaster Management Organization, that's NADMO, over 90 households were affected. The rainstorm is the first to be recorded in the northern region this year. Now the residents are appealing to benevolent organizations and individuals to come to their aid. Now, they have been in the news in recent times for the very wrong reasons. I'm talking about the Fulani headsmen. Following their activities in parts of the country, the paramount chief of New Orobo in the Kuru South District of the Eastern Region, Nana Brifa Damkwa II, has issued a stern warning to the Governor National Democratic Congress and other political parties against campaigning in his jurisdiction if their concerns about the nomads are not addressed. Last month, the acting president of the Kuru Traditional Council, Nana Achemfu Esi Edwajaman, charged his people to arm themselves and clear the Fulanese if government fails to enforce a deadline date to evict them. According to Nana Brifa Dankwa II, several petitions to the president, John Germani Mahama, to find a lasting solution to the Fulani crisis have not been successful. In our final story, now starting today and for the next seven days, they will see the beautiful landscapes of this country from the plains of Accra through the forests of Ashanti and the western regions to the savannas of the north. Dozens of Ghanaians and expatriates who join CTFM's Heritage Caravan, the first of its kind, really, by the station, will explore the land we call Ghana. Now, over 70 people on the trip will have the real opportunity to experience some of the country's heritage sites and tourist destinations in eight regions. The Heritage Caravan, which took off from the premises of City FM here at Adabaka in Accra, will make its first stop at the Adaklu Mountain. Now, that's not the only place they will visit. They will visit the Wabi Fema Monkey Sanctuary. And in the western region, they will visit the beautiful, beautiful Inzulenzu village where the whole village sits on stilts. That's not all. There are more surprises. So I'm sad I wasn't able to be part of this trip. I hope to be a part of it next year. And on that note, we end City News Daily on City TV. I am Perla Kanyo Furry. Thanks for watching.